Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we have here is a proportion where we have to solve for x. Now remember, with any proportion, when you cross multiply in either direction, you're going to come up with the same product. So what we're going to do is write an equation that expresses that reality. So what we're going to do is say that 5 multiplied by x minus 2 is equal to the product of 3 and x. All right, now what we're going to do is just solve for x by isolating our variable. We're going to start by using the distributive property to rewrite the left-hand side of our equation. So we multiply 5 times x, that is 5x, and 5 times negative 2 is negative 10, and we set that equal to 3x. All right, now notice that we have an x term on the right side and the left side. So what we have to do is get those x terms on the same side. So we're going to subtract 3x from itself to turn that into 0, and we balance our equation by doing the same thing on the other side. And 5x take away 3x is, of course, 2x, and we just bring down our minus 10. Now we're going to take our constant and move it to the other side. And the opposite of subtracting 10 is adding 10. That turns it into 0 on this side. And on this side, we now have 0 plus 10, which is equal to 10. And then we just slide down our 2 times x. All right, now we're almost there. We just have to isolate our variable by dividing the coefficient of 2 by itself. And we balance our equation by dividing 2 on the other side as well. So we end up getting x is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 5. Now to check our answer, we're going to take 5 and plug it back into the original proportion. So if we take this x and write a 5 there and do the same with this x over here, we should get the same thing on both sides. So over here we have 5 minus 2, which of course is 3. And the denominator is 3. And 3 over 3, of course, is equal to 1. And 5 over 5 is also equal to 1 whole. So we just proved that the value of bet is, in fact, equal to 5.